this band to you. And here is our topic. Explore deep span, quite deep, because we want you to explore the culture of span. Okay, so first we're gonna know about some basic knowledge about span, so we're start now. Okay, so where's Spain? Spain is in the Europe, and if you need to be more specifically, it is in the southern part of Europe, it's next to Portugal. Okay, so the capital of Spain is Madrid, and it is also the largest city in Spain. And due to this year, there are 3.1 million people in Spain. And about some geographical feature, you can see on this picture, Spain has various climates. Like the main part of Spain is continental climate and its feature is only have rain in the summer. And the average temperature of continental climate is around 15 to 20. Okay, and I'll show you about some tourist attraction. There are four cities I mentioned, Madrid, Serbia, Valencia, and Barcelona. And these four cities will be the four main spots we will take you to. Okay, so we talk about culture in class, and what is culture? We think culture is people lifestyle, but if we need to talk about lifestyle, we need to trace back to the history. So, I will mention the next picture, but first we'll talk about language. Uh, the main language in Spain is Spanish, everyone knows that, but if you want to need to know more deeper, the main, Sp the main language in Spain is Castellano Spanish. It also it spread all around Spain, but specifically it is in Madrid and almost most area. And other like regional language like Catalan Spanish, Basque Spanish, and Galician Spanish is all around regional. Like the Catalan Spanish is around Barcelona, the Basque Spanish is at this part. It's the part like which already uh, always want to be independent. Okay. So about the culture. Part. As I mentioned, culture is people lifestyle, but I, I say if we want to know deeper, we need to trace back the history. So I list some elements that make us Spain culture today. The Celtics, Iberian, Romans, Phoenicians, Carthaginians, Greek, and Muslim. And like the Celtic and Iberian, they make up most Spanish culture currently. Like the Romans to Catalonia and Phoenician is also about the ancient Spain culture and about the Muslim. Muslim is a special feature in Spain's culture. The Muslim culture coming to Spain in the 8th century by war. And now there are almost around 1, 1 million Muslims in Spain and they live around Barcelona. Okay, so after I, met, above all, I mentioned so much, so why go to Spain? First, experience this culture. As I mentioned, like there's almost eight element in Spain culture. So, if you want to experience Spain culture, experience various culture. Go to Spain, and the nice weather. As I mentioned, the continental weather is only have rain in summer, and the average temperature is around 15 to 20. So the weather is very nice. And also, uh, because I like to drink, so I will mention Spain wine. Uh, you can see here a little picture about Spain wine. Spain wine is really, really good. They have good grapes and they have good ability to be brewery. And eat. Our group, our teammate will mention about eat later. Okay, so after all Spain feature, we'll talk about our trip. Okay, so first, who's our target group? Because I say our target is to explore deep culture of Spain. So our target group will be family and the family who want their child to ex learn about culture. So the culture education will be our main goal in this trip. And because culture is a little bit expensive in Europe, so they have to be mid-class family. And our, there's a, another feature about our trip, is relaxed and flexible. You have many choices, like if we go to one city, you have many choices of where you can go. And about the flight, we will take fly from Taipei to Madrid first, but we won't leave from Madrid. We will leave from Barcelona. So we will play Spain all around, all, all around Spain. And the average flying time is like 16 to 18 per trip. And the price is a little bit higher 
is almost four forty thousand a person. And if we if you go as a family to a thousand two k, we'll give you a credit a discount. You will only be one hundred forty five thousand per family. Okay, so here's our plan of the trip. We will go to Madrid first, as I mentioned. We'll go to Serbia and Granada, and we'll go to Valencia and Barcelona. So you can see we will play all one round of Spain. So let's start with Madrid. Okay, so our trip starts with Madrid first. As in now to all, Madrid possesses a lot of cultural heritage, and so the trip for Madrid will focus on those inheritances. Our accommodation will be Hotel Arosa, and the first visit places will be Madrid Pal Palace, Almudena Castro, Royal Altar Monastery, Royal Barefoot Women's Monastery. But I won't uh, introduce the details of them. I will visit them because they are nearby the hotel, so you can just visit them by walk. Unless they are pictures. Okay, so the next place will be Fernando Art Museum. Fernando Art Museum uh, collect many masterpieces, especially the painting from 16th to 19th century, like Zubar, Arsimbodo, Goya. This museum collect many paintings from them. This is Arsimbodo's painting, Spring. And that's Fernando Art Museum, the left one. And we will have lunch. And our lunch time will be at Boating Restaurant. Boating Restaurant is the most, is the oldest restaurant in the world. It's over 200 years. And the special dishes is roast suckling pig. This is roast suckling pigs. And this is Boating Restaurant. Okay. And the day one, we will, our last two places for day one is Sofia and Prado Museum. Sofia Museum is a museum for modern art, and it collects many paintings from Picasso, Miro, and Dali. Picasso is the Cubist master, and Dali, Miro, they are both master of surrealism. This painting is from Picasso, and this is from Miro, and this is from Dali. And the next one is Prado Museum. Prado Museum is one of the most famous museums around the world, and just like Louvre and British Museum, for it collect 8,200 drawings, 7,600 paintings, and 1,000 sculptures. And especially the 12th to 19th century painting from Goya, Greco, and Rivera, and so on. Next. And this is a self-portrait from Greco. And then we will visit it in its day two. And we will start with Tyson Borsmia Museum. This is a Trinity of Art Museum in Madrid. This collection forms the development of Euro painting history. And as uh, the ground floor is the uh, modern art from 20th century, the first floor of painting from 17th to 19th century and a second floor for painting from 13th to 19th century. So if you visit all of them, you will know the development of the Euro art. And this is the appearance of it. Next. Then we will head to the Aranjuez Palace. It is similar to Madrid Palace, but more luxurious. And I want to introduce it because its appearance and the garden is very beautiful. Next. I uh, well, don't list too much picture of it. Okay, next. And we will take bus to the Castro of Toledo. Toledo is Toledo Castro is mainly Gothic style and is combined but its interior style combined with Mudhar, for it used to be a mosque during the tenth century and then it come back to uh, church, and this is Gothic, many Gothic style. Okay, next. Then we will head to the airport and take airplane to the Sofia. So my trip will end up here. Thanks. Okay, 
And next up is Sevilla. And one thing I want to mention is that Sevilla's touring attractions are really close, so you can walk or take bus to there. Okay. <coughs> okay. Day three in Spain. We will first go to Spain Park in Sevilla, and <coughs> from 9:30 to 12 a.m. It's also known as Maria Luisa Park formerly. And one of the Star Wars factory things. <coughs> the design is a little bit Arab culture and the architectural style is the reflection of Moore's revival. <coughs> the semi circular square can be seen in a carriage or you can also roll a boat in the lake. <coughs> it's one of the most attraction in Sevilla. And Spain Park is uh, play play a important role in Sevilla's people. So I will say that is is a uh, is said to be represent Sevilla. Okay, and it is Spain Park. Okay, and um, the next up, uh, we will have lunch in restaurant La Zara, and he got a good grade in Google so. In the afternoon, we will go to uh, Sevilla Palace. It originally was a fort of boss, and the Mirai Dynasty first built the palace here. So the architectural style is a mixture of Islamic and Gothic style. And the movie, the A Song of Ice and Fire, is also used to flag here. <coughs> okay, the palace has a garden and palace area. The garden area was used by the Aristocrats uh, in summer, <coughs> and the scenery is breathtaking. So I would say that the Palace of the Villa is the place to go for a lifetime. Uh, this is Palace. <laughs> okay. And the next I will go is City Palazzo. It's built by German designers in. 2011, and it looks like a huge mushroom. <clears throat> and it's also known as the largest wooden building in the world. And the first floor is the central market. <clears throat> the second and third floor are restaurants and bars. And here you can experience the enthusiasm of Spain in the evening. And there are many bars, so you can make friends with the pa passionate Spaniards and get drunk in Sevilla. <clears throat> Here yeah, you can enjoy the night view of City Centre. If you want to re relax, and I would say City Centre is the best place to go. Okay. Uh, the reason why I put Spain Park and, and Sevilla Palace to in day three is that they are very close, so you can have more time during lunch time. Okay. <coughs> And next time we will go to the uh, Sevilla Brewery. And the Sevilla Brewery is the oldest brewery in Spain, <coughs> which is completed in 18th century. It can be seen that bull fighting can be regarded as a kind of entertainment for all in Spain. And my cousin was was has lived in Spain for 20 years, and he once he said that if if I have not seen bullfighting, I have not been to Spain. So it can be seen that bullfighting has played an important role in Spain. <coughs> so we can miss it. Okay. This is boring. <coughs> and the next stop is Cathedral of Sevilla. Okay. Cathedral of Sevilla is the largest Catholic church and the third largest church in the world. It was listed as a World Heritage Site in 1987. And it is also the burial place of Columbus. The church is Gothic style and the decoration is extremely gorgeous, indicating the economic and trade status of the villa family. It has been a spiritual pillar of Spain for centuries. And I would say that this church is also one of the mercy attractions. You can feel the influence and sacred status of religion through these centuries.
Okay. This is cathedral. Cathedral. Oh, cathedral. <clears throat> Then we will go to Granada. The, uh, the first place we visit in Granada is the most famous place for tourists. Tourist. It's the La Alhambra. La Alhambra is a building combined with mosque, play playlist, and castle. In, and in Arabic, it means uh, the, the red castle. And it is a testament to Maurice culture in Spain and was classified as the UNESCO World Heritage in 1984. And then, then we will go to Arbeis, um, which is just face to face the La Alhambra. Um, Arbeis is featured by not only its more central but also Arab street, streets, streets there. Um, the Nicholas Church in on the mountain is a good place for us to to it's a good place to overlook the view of La La Alhambra and the whole city. And and after missing the Arabs, we will finish our play. Our trip in Granada and then drive to the uh, Valencia. Because the drive will take around five hours, so after we arrive Valencia, we will check into the hotel and then go for dinner. Uh, does everyone know that Spain is famous with paella? But still, the people know that the paella is originate from Valencia and in fact at first it puts rabbit instead instead of seafood in it. And then the day six we will first visit sorry we will first visit the exchange house of silk. It built, it built in 1482 and take place over 2,000 square meters, reflect the strong economic of Valencia land. And the building is one of the most famous Gothic and, classic, and classified as the UNESCO World Heritage Test in 1996. Okay, conclusion. Mm, or the last part. Just skip to the end. We still have two groups. Okay. For us, um, Saturday and eight day we will visit Barcelona, but um, we'll go to the total cost. Um, we have our total cost for eighty five thousand, and our price will be. Ninety-nine thousand and nine hundred and ninety-nine. Yes. Wow. And this is our end of our presentation. Okay.